Welcome to Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Redheads. I'm Deborah, And I'm Bobby. And I almost forgot to say who I was. <laughs> and we are here to talk about a wine that I am like very, very excited to have. Okay, you introduce the wine and then I'll pour. Okay, so this is from Foxen in Santa Barbara County. It is their 2007 Pinot Noir from the Sea Smoke Vineyard. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and we've gotten out the uh, Riedel stemware for this because it, the Sommelier series. It's yeah. Like the super like. I'm just noticing my. Yeah, anyways, anyways. Really I'm the one who's always going to point out to you when the glasses are dirty. I'm like, oh, it's not that they're dirty; it's that they have a little wine spot. Oh, the it's spot. Fine. The spot. wine's still. Especially on these, because these are so pretty. Like they shouldn't have these spots. Are just like, look at how big this is. Yeah. This glass actually. You can fit a whole bottle of wine in here, but don't. Yes. <laughs> so Bobby's going to pour it over Oh, you could! I would share, though. Yes. Well, no, because it's like, if you do that, then you're not going to be able to swirl it and release all the flavors and um, all the aromas I'm just of the saying, wine. you could. Okay. Are you going to pour? <laughs> yeah. Bobby's not going to pour the, where you should pour to in these glasses. Um, I don't even... That's good. Because then... Pretend. Like, I serious... These are hand blown glasses and just absolutely oh, beautiful. I just got a drop. Mm. And yummy. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, I am totally biased. Their pinot noir? Hmm? Do they oak their Pinot Noir? I think so. I, I'm totally biased because I'm a big fan of Foxen um, and I'm a wine club member there. <sighs> Which is how she got this wine. I did. I did get it in my wine club shipment, and the reorder, I'm only going to order two more bottles, and I'm going to do it. Cool. If we like it, of course. Yeah, if we don't like it, we don't like it a waste order, of money. <laughs> um, oh. This smells wonderful, by the way. Oh. Very cherry. And... Oh. <sighs> I love Pinot Noir. She loves this Pinot Noir especially. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, so... Cherry, um, blueberry. Wow, absolutely, absolutely blueberry in here. That's interesting. Wow. Um, so it's that. I was, oh, I was focusing beard. on the f funkiness. <laughs> like there's a little bit of barnyard. Yeah, in there. I'm okay with that. That's good. Pinot should have that. Pinot should be just a little bit stinky. Funky. Yeah. It makes you let's, know. It's, it helps you know. Let's see it's if Pinot. the lovely people at Boxen have given us any specific information that they'd like us to know or focus on in their wine here. Um, this is just more, this is just some general in, information regarding Foxen. They don't uh, tell you anything. No, nothing specific. So, hey, it smells good. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, dark, yeah, but dark, I mean, you know, yeah, it's just cherry, dark, like dark cherry, dark berry. Like, I totally agree with her on the blueberry, blueberry. thing. She like nailed that on the head. Mm. I remember the last time we had this, there was like a floral element that I don't really get this time. And it was a different year, so that would explain a lot, I'm sure. Mm. It's all uh, age well. Well, there's a little bit of tannin, but nothing like, I mean, just so I think can't that that will yeah. age a little for a while. I need another um, taste. I get cherry and like blackberry, blackberry. On, on the palate versus the blueberry. Blackberry, absolutely. Mm. Mm. With that that total all that dark berry flavors. Oh, maybe. I gotta work on looking at you guys instead of like around because I think better with my eyes closed. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, I'm like, hey, this is my little wine club. Notice, maybe there's notes in here. It's got a it's got a leather finish. Um, mm. Do you get that? Yeah, a little bit. I yeah. like it. And really, like the animal portion, like flavor to it, it's mm. so slight. It's like it really to me. This is the way a Pinot Noir to me should be. It doesn't necessarily mean for somebody else that that's the same, but it's like just a hint of off. <laughs> Like, it's not, you know, the berry that you get in, like, Zinfandel or Syrah. It's, like, different. it's got something just it's a earthy. little, yeah, earthy and funky to it that makes it, it makes it a Pinot and it makes it interesting. Yeah. So, so, 
Uh, the wine advocate. And it's still finishing. This is a nice wine. Yes, nice. It just. Mm. Wine advocate gave this wine 92 points. Wine spectator gave it 94 points. Um, yeah, wine spectator said drink now through 2014. There you so go. See, like a little getting, bit of tannins. A little bit, of, little bit of seven age years time. is good. You know, so, seven age because this um, is no seven. Retail price for this wine is 75 dollars. If you are a wine club member, woo. 6375 baby! 63 for my reorder! Yay! So, this is lovely. Please note, Deborah and I, I have the cheap case. <laughs> but, you know, I also... Bring it over! She does. She absolutely does. Oh my gosh. And I, I like this. will drink it. Always appreciate it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Never complain. Yeah, I like it. So we would definitely recommend this if this is in your price range. And even if it's not, if like you want to splurge, this is a good wine to splurge on if they haven't sold out of it. Because yeah, they I haven't. Mean, they, they sell out of these wines. They do. I mean, I, like I was saying, this how is I'm, really what they're known for. Pinot Noir, yeah. absolutely. And how I was saying how I'm on there, I'm a wine club member. I was on the waiting list at first. And the day I got the little postcard in the mail that says, Congratulations, you are now off the waiting list and you can be in the wine club. I like the little dance in my living room. I was cartwheels. Really I'm telling you, you got to see your new cartwheels. <laughs> That's entertaining. <laughs> Absolutely. So, anyway, th definitely a wine to enjoy. Great for special occasions. You know, if you like are more into, if you're into splurging on a regular basis, great wine to splurge on. Um, Good to have in the, you know, hiring glassware. Yes, absolutely. Like, this is the kind of wine you want in nice stemware. Yeah, especially because the Riedel had said kind of a good rule of thumb is spend the same amount per glass as you do per bottle. And this is, I mean, you know, so it's a 75 retail price bottle. It's a $100 glass, so it's like, you know. And this is about as good as the glasses get is 100 bucks. So, oh, yeah. you know, if you, uh, if you buy $2,200 bottles of wine, you're probably not watching our video, and I no. have no idea how you would ever find a glass that expensive. <laughs> no, but... I just thought about that. I was like, but, you know... But for your higher, you know, end wines or whatever that you really this, you these want... These are great. So... Read a sommelier these. series? Recommend. Go to a class and get some of these. That's how we got them. This Boxen, great. 2007 Pinot Noir from the Sea Smoke Vineyard. Sea Smoke Vineyard. Other people source fruit from this vineyard as well, and their Pinot Noir is always, usually, year yeah. after year, pretty you know spectacular as well. All right, so, so. that's us. Two, Two crazy, crazy redheads. redheds. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Gently. <laughs> Did you see me? I was like extra gentle. <laughs> we both were.